Okay, so in this video clip, I'm going to take a look at uh, four estimation models, four binomial trees for estimating American European options for calls, both calls and puts. Uh, the original source code uh, we get from the F options package, which is an R package. You can set this up in R Studio. I have it here in the browser. It's easier to review here. And also importantly, um, when the packages are set up here in rrdrr.io, uh, you get very often to see the source code as well. And interestingly, they have source, source code for the Tian model, for Lysenreimer, not for Lysenreimer, for the Tian model, for Jarrah Rudd, and um, for Cox Rocks, Ross Rubenstein. Okay, so you have JR model. Um, we have code here. The functions are here for uh, the Tian model, uh, but nothing for Lysenreim or Cox Ross Rubenstein. So the main models are there, um, but uh, Lysenreimer wasn't included here. Now, there are other very interesting uh, and very useful um, functions here for pricing options Heston Nandi Garch model and Heston Nandi. And that's also useful source code that people might uh, take a look at. But for our purposes, we're going to use numerical techniques to price the option. We're also going to do it in a dedicated, uh, in a Google Colab, but uh, where we have the notebook settings, uh, where the runtime is specifically R and not uh, Python. So Python doesn't run in that in this notebook now to see how you would do that if you uh, when you go into your browser and you paste in that link right uh, the default language normally the language we use the programming language we use in google colab is python but if you use uh, that hyperlink then the dedicated runtime is in R. And so Python code is not going to run here. Um, but to get that, to enable that, to run that, either use this hyperlink or this hyperlink here. And that will bring you into uh, our notebook in the Colab environment. OK, so basically all I did here was I copied three snippets of code. Cox Ross Rubenstein, again, the source I just point out is here. Um, and I ran some estimations. The values look correct. I, I checked, uh, this seemed to be fine. The Tian model also comes from that same source, the, from the F options package. If you look at the source code, you can follow the hyperlink. And the Jar Rudd model, also an important model here in this class of option pricer. The one that wasn't available in the F options package is license Rhymer. So basically I took the template here for writing the function and I just introduced, uh, amended the parameter estimation. So if you have parameter inputs, you have parameter outputs and I amended that template to follow the license Rhymer structure. So we have that there for R. If you run the code, I mean, we have what we basically have here is we have the name of the function, then the parameter inputs, the stock, the exercise, the maturity, the risk-free rate, the cost of carry, which is R negative Q. So it's the risk-free rate minus the dividend yield, sigma, which is the volatility, and N is the number of steps in the binomial tree. And if we run this snippet of code and then load in that function where we're calling up an American call, at the stock price of 100, uh, exercise 100, three year maturity, 3% risk free rate, 7% uh, dividend yield, 20% volatility, and 100 steps. And uh, same, similar parameter values below. When we execute that for license Rhymer, we get a value of 9.06 for these parameter values for the, the uh, for the American call and using these parameter values for the 
European call, we get 1045. Now, if we increase the step size right, in both cases and, and run again, now it'll take a little bit of time because we're now running two uh, trees. We're getting 9064 and 1045. The 104505 is very close to Black Shoals and the 9.06474 is very close to true. So with a 15,000 step three, I checked before, the true value for these parameters would be a 9.0659. So we're not far at all. We're actually quite close in terms of proximity to true for the American call option. That's one of the nice features of license Rhymer. It converges to true. And let's generally accept that a 15,000 step tree is a reasonable uh, proxy for true uh, when uh, in the Cox, Ross, Rubenstein um, uh, world. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm going to leave a link underneath where you can find this code um, and then you can use, you can pull down from the collab itself. Um, so in the, below the video clip, I leave a link to the collab and also a page uh, where I've done a little bit more um, in the Vinegar Hill. Okay, so let's uh, stop.